Hi, my name is Kai, and today we want to have a look on contactors in ePlan. How to make the settings for the contact image and how to find the fixed position on your plot frame. This is a very special property in ePlan and not so easy to find. So stay tuned. A contactor is, I think, a device which everybody from us is using in ePlan. And what you can see here is that the contact image is a little bit longer and goes through the plot frame. And how to find this setting, I will show later. Before we want to have a look on some settings for these contactors. So we click on the contactor. We go to the tab display. And here we have three different tabs. And here we go to the tab contact image. And here we can now change the contact image property arrangement. So when we click on edit, we can select, for example, on component. And when we click now OK, you can see that the contact image is now on the right side from this contactor coil. This makes no sense for a contactor. This property is more useful for example for the MCCB, for the auxiliary contacts. So we change this back. And now we have a look here on the right side for these properties. For example, here you have selected a line automatically. That means that the contact image is on the position which is within the settings of your plot frame. This is what I show later. So when we deactivate this, we can also type in here another position. For example, we type in 40 millimeters for the X coordinate, the Y coordinate still should be zero and we click OK. And then you see that on the X, it moves to the right side. So when we click here on zero, for example, and here for the Y position on 20 millimeters, it's now above the contact coil. So we set this back on a line automatically, and then the contact image is now the or original position. When you mark the coil, make a right click text and move property text, you can also move just, for example, the contact image wherever you want. You can move it now on a position which fits for your requirements. Then it's automatically here deactivated, so we go back to align automatically and send it back to the original position. And now we want to change a little bit the view of this contact image. So we activate here the user defined, and now we can change all these properties. And for example, we can activate show in tabular form. When we click now on apply and OK, you can see that the contact image is shown on a different way than the original one. So this is something I have never seen in modern drawings. I have seen this in older drawings, but nowadays I haven't seen this. So on the left side, you have the normally open contacts, including the cross reference. And on the right side, you have the normally closed contacts, including the cross reference. Another question I get regularly is how to display the part number. So we have here the part number for our contactor. And when we go back to display and to the tab contact image, we can here also display of first part. You can also show display of second part. If you have, for example, a contactor with auxiliary contacts and you have the auxiliary contacts here as a second part, you can also show both. So when we click here on the first part and on top and click OK, you can see that automatically ePlan shows the part number above the contact image. So now we change back the contact image here to the regular form. 
Yeah, now we want to check where comes its original position when we uh, activate a line automatically. So therefore we click now OK and we go to our settings. So maybe you need to go to file and settings or we have already done a call up setting on your quick access toolbar. If you don't have this here, I just can recommend you to do this. So you click here on this drop down button, further commands. And here you can select call up settings on the quick access toolbar, put it here on the right side, and then you have it later on on your quick access toolbar. So otherwise you need to go to file. I go directly here on the settings. And now, first of all, we go to manage and on page. If we don't know what is our standard plot frame, we can find it here. So in my case, it's EKE FN1013. I click OK. And now I go to the master data plot frame. And now it depends a little bit if you want to make a new one or if you just want to modify the original one. Um, when you want to make a new one, you should make a copy of this. If you want to modify, you can open it. So in my case, I want to open it. I go to by plot frame and open it. And now you can see on the page navigator that my plot frame gets open. And what I have already inserted here is this line. So when you click on you, this is an invisible line. I can also show how to enter this. So I delete this. And now we want to find out where is the position of our contact image. So therefore we go here on our plot frame, right click and properties. And here you can find the property contact image margin in path. And this is exactly the value where our contact image starts. So this is something we want to change now a little bit higher to 45 millimeters. And this 45 millimeters is the value from the coordinate 0, 0. So x0, y0 is here the red circle. And here you can also see in which coordinates you are. So we have now set this to 45 millimeters. So we go a little bit up. And if it's difficult for you to get exactly y 45 millimeters, you can also go to edit coordinate input and click here on 45 millimeters then it jumps automatically to 45 millimeters and when we can press now control f2 we insert a line and we go to the properties of this line make it invisible say yes click ok and have now an invisible line which will not be printed out on your drawings but later on in your circuit diagram you can see where the contact image is and you don't put some other symbols or whatever above this so when we are ready with our plot frame we can mark it and right click and close yes we need to update our master data and our project data and now you can see that ePlan updated our plot frame in our project we have here this invisible line and our contact image moves to the 45 millimeter what fits now also on our page. Another possibility to have some influence on this is when you have done all your settings on your conductor. For example, I move this text here and I move this contactor image to here. I also set for example here some user defined properties for example that i want to show in tabular form and if this is my standard or this should be my standard i can go to the property arrangement and click on save i just name it kai you should give a certain name which makes sense and when I now activate use as default, I click OK and you can see that the property arrangement is now Kai with exactly this settings and I click apply at OK. And when we go now to the insert center and search for example for another contactor, I select here the Siemens contactor 
and place it on our drawings, for example here, you can see that it automatically has all the properties from the original one. Because we have set this as a default property arrangement, and now this gets also the property arrangement chi. You can set, stand it back to default value if you want, and then the contact image goes down to the original position from our plot frame. But you don't want to make all the settings for each contactor, so there must be a setting in your project. And therefore we go back to the setting, so now it makes already sense to have this call up settings here on the quick access toolbar. And here in our project we go to cross reference contact image, and here we find contact image in path. The other one is for contact image on components, but we want to modify the contact image in path. And here we can now make also the settings over our project. For example, we want to show the first part number, and maybe we don't want to have the cross-reference on the right side, we want to have it on the left side. If we have done all our settings, we click apply and OK. And now you can see that for this contactor, it changed already. So we have our part number and we have the cross-reference on the left side. For this contactor, it doesn't change because we have set here the property arrangement. If we go back to the default value, that means it takes over the project value, we have also now here the same properties like here. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.